Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Now we will talk about uh, in this session the personality types and leadership. Uh, in the previous session uh, we have talked about uh, that is the how uh, these uh, uh, the personalities, uh, what is a personality, the definitions uh, given by the different uh, uh, authors uh, and uh, then uh, especially the Alport and Cattles and Big Five model of personality that we have discussed. Now in, in this case uh, we will talk about the difference between the uh, traits and the types. Uh, in the previous we have talked about the personality traits. Uh, and uh, on basis of those traits uh, how to uh, predict uh, the these leaders uh, then the uh, Meyer Biggs type indicator MBTI exercise is there type and type B personality and uh, John Holland's theory uh, case study uh, research papers book recommendation and references uh, as usual. The quality of the people's uh, lives depends on their careers uh, the, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the quality of people's careers depends on their organizations, right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever you are having the high career then definitely the high quality of the people the, uh, you will find uh, and the quality of people careers depends on their organization, high, high level of organization. So, high careers will be there. The fate of their organization depends on their leadership, leadership depends on personality and personality leadership career success and organizational effectiveness are linked. So, therefore, according to the Dr. Robert Hogan, the founder of the Hogan uh, assessment you will find that is the uh, here uh, the all these dimensions personality, leadership, career success and OE organizational effectiveness are linked. So, as per the personality is concerned uh, then the other person will develop the leadership style will be there and as per the leadership style will be there there will be the career success and uh, as per the career success organizational effectiveness will be linked. So, a trait is a characteristics pattern of behavior or conscious motive which can be self assessed or assessed by the peers. The term type is used to identify a certain collection of traits that make up a, uh, the broad general personality classifications are there. So, types are sometimes said to evolve the uh, this particular uh, 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 can, uh, uh, the uh, is used to identify certain collection of traits that make up a broad general personality classification. As uh, uh, we have talked about the personality traits uh, and then the big five model the, like the openness is there, extraversion is there, agreeableness is there. So, all these, uh, these personality traits whenever these personality traits will be there and uh, then they will collectively they will find a type of personality will be there. And this psychological typologies and uh, that has been expressed in terms of the polar opposites are there and uh, the typologies tend to put people into the uh, different categories. Hmm? Uh, so, therefore, uh, in the big five, big five model what we have talked about? We have talked about the openness, extra, extraversion, agreeableness and uh, here, uh, so uh, here we will talk about the typologies that is uh, what is the typology is there. So, uh, they, those, those big five model where the personality traits model traits were classified and whatever the classification of traits is there on basis of that uh, that we will we will uh, uh, create a particular typology and emphasize the similarities among people in the same category this is very very important so therefore in that case if somebody has been classified into the one category and another person is classified into the another category so then there will be the groups of categories so, might be the 10 people in the one category, 7 people into the another category and on basis of that the leader can decide the roles and responsibilities. MBTI Maya Big Step Indicator measures the psychological preferences or the mental habits are there. So, this is a tool which is frequently used and very well accepted to help individuals and understand their own communication preferences because of their own personality style and how they interact with others. Having an awareness of the what MBTI can help you adopt your interpersonal approach to the different situations and the audiences are there. Each year over 2 million people take the MBTI, my big type of indicator. One of the most popular psychological test is there. 
as I mentioned that is this MBTA has become the very popular and uh, uh, millions of people they like to take uh, this particular test and identify their own personality. The MBTI is very popular in college leadership courses, formal leadership training programs and the team building interventions are there and they are for to identify hmm? because uh, what the MBTI does, MBTI identify the personality typology and therefore in the college courses also uh, leadership training programs also team building interventions also because what happens there is one typology that has to be matched with the another typology and when, when you are matching the proper typology your team effectiveness will increase. MBTI has a four basic preference dimensions extraversion, sensing, thinking and judging and with the extraversion that is the introversion, sensing with the intuition, thinking with the feeling and judging with the perceiving is there. So, where do you get your energy from? So, that is the extraversion and introversion is there, sensing is there, what kind of information do you prefer to use right and the thinking what process do you use to make decisions whether the thinking is the or the feeling is there, what do you see we, we deal with the world around you whether you are judging or you are perceiving. So, therefore, in that case uh, this type of the personalities preference dimensions are there and by with the help of this personality different dimensions the one can decide about that is the uh, what type of the typology the person is belonging. So, person may be having either the extroversion or might be introversion, may be sensing or may be intuition, may be thinking or feeling may be judging or the perceiving is there and not only this with this there will be the different combinations and on the basis of the combinations then the, the person's personality typology that will evolve. Now, here the uh, there are the uh, so these are four types of the uh, personality typologies are there uh, uh, four pairs are there. So, therefore, in that case 16 types of the personality typology will evolve and that is the I, ISTJ that is the introversion sensing thinking and judging ESFP extroversion sensing feeling and perceiving is there ISFJ introversion sensing feeling and judging is there and ESTJ that is the extroversion sensing thinking and judging is there. Now, here you can see that is from this particular combination. So, it is the ESTJ hmm, or e, it can be e, EITJ or it can be uh, e, e, EF, uh, uh, e, uh, ESFJ or it can be EIFJ or it can be E, uh, e sensing thinking and perceiving is a ESTJ. So, therefore, in that case 16 types you know. So, when whenever we are making these combinations, so these type of the combinations may arise and uh, what, what are these combinations talk about. So, it is the introversion sensing thinking and judging is there ISTJ. So, uh, here favored carriers are the scientists or engineers are there. So, once you know the personality typology, you can identify and then classify them into a particular typology and the typology is called the ISTJ and uh, detail oriented private punctual and deficit cautious would rather be friendless than jobless insensitive to the hardship of others is there. So, in case of the ISTJ, so the if the person is such an introversion sensing thinking and judging then definitely uh, then that person will be the scientist or engineer. If the person is ESTJ, after ESTJ, I would like to take ESTJ because it is the extroversion sensing, thinking, and judging is there. So, it is organized, group oriented, focused, conventional, planful, realistic, hardworking, stiff, content, regular, strict, disciplined, meticulous, strong sense of purpose is there. So, because this sensing, thinking and judging this is common. So, only differences of the introvert and extrovert is there and here you will find that is the uh, uh, as we have talked about the five, uh, five uh, that five big uh, type model also uh, big five model also and therefore, in that case we have found that is if a person is socialized extroversion is there his leadership style will be more appropriate for the executive banker or lawyer. While if the person is with the ISTP, hmm, so here you will find that is the sensing feeling and perceiving is, is there. 
right. So, uh, therefore, uh, there will be uh, the, in, in the case uh, in, in this case now the ISTP introversion sensing thinking and perceiving that is the engineer and programmer is there right. While uh, this is the another uh, uh, this is the here is the introversion intuition feeling and judging is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, again this is introvert this is introvert is there. However, here you will find that it is the sensing is there right it is so uh, here is sensing uh, and uh, here is intuition is there. Naturally, on the basis of the personality typology which you have the job or professions that will be more suitable. This is a one hint. Another very important uh, output is this uh, our practical implication of uh, this finding is this that is the assignment of responsibilities. The whatever the personality job fit model we always we talk about that is what type of the personality the person is having and accordingly you assign them the job. Now, if for the ESFJ extroversion sensing feeling and judging and here you will find that is the uh, the favored careers are the that is the wedding planner nurse this type of the scientist the, uh, these favored careers are scientist or astronaut is there right because here more more is about the feeling it is not more about the thinking is there so if the thinking is there then there will be the different options will be there now the another uh, type of India, uh, the personality typologies uh, frequently associated with each. Uh, so, here is ESTP and ENTP. So, whenever we are talking about the extroversion sensing thinking and perceiving and when we are connecting it with the extroversion intuition uh, uh, thinking and perceiving is there that is the ENTP is there hmm? while here it is the ESTP is there. So, as, as soon as you change sensing with the intuition, the you will find the jobs are changing. So, if you are having the sensing, the favored careers are CEO, pilot, spy, bar owner and like this. These favored careers are novelist, librarian and florist, while in case of the ENTP, here what you have changed you have changed only intuition and you see totally professional change is there that is a homemaker librarian these different types of the uh, uh, the professions are there. So, uh, if similarly INTJ and INFP introversion intuition thinking and judging and introversion intuition feeling and the perceiving is there. So, in case of these engineers and neurosurgeon are concerned then the INTJ is there in case of the INFP is there then the cartoonist writer activist creative. Hmm? So, therefore, because they are introvert and intuition whenever they are introvert and intuition you will find that is the the, the jobs which have been uh, changing right that, that is of the more creativity is there. Here they are creative and impulsive dear friends the every personality is having the different personality typology right and accordingly the jobs are to be taken. Now, this is the another example um, that is the INTP introversion intuition thinking and perceiving and ENTJ extroversion intuition thinking and judging is there. So, here introversion and intuition it is there right. So, like the in the previous slide we have seen right. So, but here it is, it is a thinking with perceiving and that is why the job which has been suggested is, is the philosopher. right, but not of the social worker and supervisor these are not favored one. While in case of the ENTJ extroversion intuition thinking and judging it is the consultant and lawyer that has been, that have been with the focused right and the and this favored careers are the chef, singer and artist. In case of the ENFJ 
that is the extraversion, intuition, feeling and judging is there and the favored careers are the critic, news anchor and dancers. While in case of the ENFP, it is the actor, artist and the filmmakers are there because um, here. So, that is the extraversion, intuition, feeling and the perceiving is there. So, uh, whenever you are talking about the introversion versus extroversion, whenever you are talking about the intuition versus sensing, whenever you are talking about the thinking versus feeling when, uh, or uh, perceiving versus judging, as soon as the typology which you change, immediately you will find that there is a change of the profession. If you want to be the leader in your profession, right? or you um, um, before that actually, if you want to select a profession where you can become the leader, then definitely first you have to identify that what type of the personality typology do you have and on basis of the type of the personality typology, you can select uh, your profession and uh, because that is matching with your personality, you will be successful. Common uses for the MBTI are the resolving conflict, right. Uh, normally, what happens when the you are having the uh, introvert with extrovert uh, and like this type of the personality typologies which are not matching, uh, but you know that is what type of this uh, personality typology you will be able to resolve. You will be also able to identify how should I interact with this person and that is a leadership style. The way you will find the identify uh, the personality, you will be able to identify the personality you can tune up your leadership style and you can work on that. Managing the change, valuing the diversity, that is what type of the diversities are there, considering the uh, team and the organized culture and the problem solving is there. So, in addition to uh, this, what are the common uses, you will find that is the, uh, now uh, many times you might be studying when you already opt for your profession. And then you, you are into certain period of experience also in that particular profession, but you judge from MBTI that you are of the different type of personality. Can you develop yourself? Yes, you can develop yourself. You can develop yourself as per the advice of MBTI, my every staff indicator and then see that is whether this will be more suitable or not. Now, these implications of the preferences and types of leaders are the disproportionately distributed across a handful of types. Then despite being useful, the MBTI has limitations. Now, now you see every model is having the limitations. They are having the practical implications and the limitations. We have to see that is what type of the practical models which can be applicable uh, to us and then what are the limitations that we have to avoid. So, types are not stable over time this is a very big challenge. So, MBTI is to be examined with every period of time, major development changes in distribution of types with the age, so, typology changes with the age. The utility of typing systems remains uncertain because the behavior of two people in the same type may vary as greatly as that of people of different types. So, therefore, uh, it, it is also possible. Why it is possible? Because of the personality traits. Typologies can facilitate the oversimplification of behavior and the rationalization of the misbehavior is there. So, therefore, in that case you can also identify that is this particular um, type of this uh, uh, behavior or the misbehavior done by the individual, then what type of the typology is there and then according to your leadership style, you will be able to manage that misbehavior. Please understand that is the do not mismatch uh, the type of personality typology and, and the leadership style. If the personality typology requires a particular style, you match with your leadership style. So, you will be able to manage the behavior of the other person. Individual characteristics uh, are vital in the classification of the individual as either personality type A or personality type B. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, here you will find that is one type of the personality on in differences that is uh, because there, there is a hill, so I got the opportunity uh, to track the hills, but in the case because there is a hill, I, I cannot go to the other side. So, therefore, it is the individual differences and characteristics as well as the behavior as depicted by the individuals are there. So, some persons because um, for some persons uh, this is an opportunity, for some persons uh, this is a limitation to similarities and differences especially when faced with the particular situations are there. So, in a given situation, 
the person will take it as an opportunity or will take it as a threat that will depend on the what type of the personality traits and what type of the personality typology one possesses. And therefore, in that case, the way he is having this personality type A or type B personalities and therefore, type A personality those who are looking for the opportunities in a given situation. Whenever the type A personality people they face a particular situation, they try to identify the solutions to the problems and therefore, organizations what organizations want? Organizations want there should be the certain personalities, those who will be able or capable to develop the solutions in a given uh, crisis, in a given crisis. So, the type A type of personality people they will be the competitive, they will be angry, uh, angered easily right uh, that is also a weakness, uh, feel pressure, impatient and super motivated is there. So, they, they are very vibrant and active and therefore, in that case you will find that is a type A uh, personalities uh, they are always looking for the opportunities, they want to do, they are vibrant, they are active right and but uh, when, when the situations are the, uh, the they, it is not moving as per, as per their choice, but what happens they get the angry very easily and uh, here you will find while in case of the type B uh, uh, live at high stress level, they live at the very high, high stress level type A and the time conscious are there driven by the need to succeed that is how they are going to be the successful in a given situation uh, always. They will not find out uh, the uh, barriers uh, uh, as a uh, uh, the uh, uh, blockage and the stopping from them for going further. No, no, they will come uh, overcome across those barriers and they will try to do the certain the all these uh, activities, right? Those who will be helpful them to achieve their destination or goal often enjoy being in control and being successful. This is also very interesting that is this type of people they are often enjoy being controlled by the others. They feel floating the, uh, uh, the hostility which can be triggered by even uh, uh, minor incidents are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, because they are very sensitive, they are very vibrant. So, even the, uh, even the minor incident is there they will be triggered. Uh, time urgency and impatience are there which cause uh, irritation and uh, then the exasperation usually described as the being the short, short fused right. So, they immediately get uh, the fire up and therefore, they get fused a competitive drive which causes stress and an achievement uh, driven mentality is there and uh, whenever they are having this type of the, uh, the because they want to uh, move fast they want to achieve the goal. So, they, they will it will cause a stress and they because of their achievement driven mentality is there and these symptoms to be covered and therefore, less observable while others too are more overt. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it is always the type A type behavior you know, that has been observed and when as soon as it is been uh, observed immediately the management or the organization uh, they are the prompt to take the action and they, uh, while in the case of this the competitive drive is concerned. So, therefore, because they are vibrant, so naturally uh, this will take other two uh, it will take less time to get the observed for this particular aspect of their um, behavior. So, as I mentioned about the type of personality they are very vibrant, very active they want to achieve right while uh, and uh, 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 we are getting very um, uh, fired up very easily while in case of the type B personality they are relaxed and that ok fine it will be done no problem and there is no hurry they are easy going that is what we can do if this is it, it is happening it is happening live live at the low stress level and because they are not much worried. So, their stress level is very very low enjoy achievement, but uh, will not stress over a loss right. So, therefore, if enjoyment is there, the uh, achievement is there, they will enjoy, but if they do not have the achievement, they fail, uh, they will not have much stress over it. And the often creative that is they, uh, they, they are, uh, they are very good uh, uh, artists and because they are very creative. They are reflective, tend to work steadily, slow and steady wins the race, 
no no uh, not highly competitive there is no desire for that often find enjoyment mediating or in the arts are there and then mediating and so therefore in that case they, they like to do the meditation or getting the involved into the arts right and therefore this type of the behavior will be there uh, for the this type of the uh, a personality uh, b personality is there now on basis of the type A, type B personalities, the John Hollands has given one theory and the Hollands theory, I always uh, uh, like this particular uh, session in the, by saying that is a personality job fit makes you the successful. I would like to share my example uh, that is I was into the industry after 10 years of industry last 25 years I am into the academics and that I am enjoying the academics and that is uh, here I find that Holland's theory. The, the first time I came across this theory in 1995 uh, the almost 26 years back and I, I also tried to develop a manual on this personality job, job fit. So, this is the uh, what type of the according to uh, Holland realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising and conventional there is there right. right? So, therefore, this is the Rizek model is there that is that is the uh, realistic uh, people are there practical hands on tangible work is there investigative are there they are research oriented basically. So, therefore, that is a personality type and then if you are having that personality type you can match with that particular personality and can get uh, uh, can work accordingly uh, according to uh, your nature of uh, uh, personality you do the job artistic is there expressive creative and visual are there then the hr specialization that is a social that is a helping is there friendly there is there empathetic is there there so and enterprising are there so they are influential leader energetic and sociable is there so right from the conventional realistic investigative artistic social and enterprising so therefore you will find that is this realistic type of personality and matching with the job that will lead you to the big success so, realistic type of personality enjoys working with the animals, tools or the machines are there, realistic type of personalities. Generally avoids the social activities such as teaching, healing and informing others, and, uh, is skillful when working with tools, uh, mechanical or electrical drawings, machines or the plants and the animals are there. Uh, the value of practical things you can see, touch and use such as plants and animals, tools, equipments and machines, they are busy with all these issues are there. The investigative type of personality enjoying the studying and solving maths or science problems, uh, research oriented as a scientist generally avoids leading, selling or the persuading people. So, they are not much about the social activities, is good at the understanding and solving the science and maths problem. They value the science uh, seen as a precise scientific and intellectual is there. The artistic type of personality is there and enjoys creative activities such as art, drama, craft, dance, music or creative writing is there. Generally avoids highly ordered or the repetitive activities, has good artistic abilities in creative writing, drama, right? This type of the arts, they, they, they are giving the more uh, uh, the time and interest to this type of uh, uh, the professions. So, uh, such as uh, and see self as expressive, original and the independent is there. Social personality is there, enjoying doing things to help people such as teaching, nursing, giving first aid or the providing information, generally avoids using machines, tools or animals to achieve a goal, is good at teaching, counseling, nursing or the giving the information is there. See, the, uh, the social personality values helping people and solving the social problems are there and they, uh, here they are very helpful, friendly and the trustworthy uh, type of relationship is there. The en enterprising personality is there which is persuading people and selling products and ideas, generally avoids the activities that require careful observation and scientific analytical thinking, is good at leading people and the selling things or ideas is there. Uh, the conventional uh, type of personality, uh, the last is enjoying working with the numbers, records, machines, right? And therefore, here they are good in the written records and numbers and values a success in business and see self as orderly and good at the uh, a, a set of plan is there. So, the, the whenever we are talking about this personality job fit theory or the Holland's model and this talking about the, the doer, the thinker, uh, the creator, the helper, the persuader and the organizer is there and the accordingly uh, the, uh, the people can choose to work in an environment similar to their personality and to be more successful and satisfied with their jobs.
uh, we are, this is the case study the power of the quiet uh, and introvert person is there right and therefore uh, how an introvert person uh, that uh, uh, character is the Susan Ken in her best selling book uh, quiet makes the three arguments we see ourselves as the uh, uh, extroverts normally you know, we, we do that we have the introversion is driven underground right that is the how uh, is uh, introversion we, we do not uh, 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 want to express much about these things uh, extroversion is not all it is kicked up to be and because the introversion is suppressed we cause the introverts uh, of the world distress and fail to capitalize on the many virtues are there. Kane is not anti extrovert she simply thinks we should encourage people to be who truly are and the means valuing extroversions and introversions. She concludes the next time you see a person with a compound face and soft voice, remember that inside her mind she might be solving an equation, composing a sonnet, designing a hat, she might that is deploying the power of quiet. So, do you agree with this that is the introvert person right to be more into would you like to be more introverted would you classify yourself as introvert or not. Uh, this is the suggested uh, reading that is the relationship between the personality and transformational leadership. This research paper will definitely help you. The findings uh, will uh, let you know that is the how the leaders uh, they rating uh, they read their subordinates and then uh, the how the role of personality which uh, impact uh, on the uh, at, at the workplace. This is the book uh, the psychological types right and by, uh, by the uh, C.G. Jan right and uh, this uh, another book uh, which has been referred as I mentioned to Stephen P. Robbins which has been the part of here organizational behavior and there you will find at the end of the chapter the exercise has been given which you can solve and identify what type of the personality typology do you have. So, this is all about the personality typology and the leadership. Thank you.